two weeks on from the floods that devastated farms in the northwest, the actual cost of restoring farm businesses is becoming clearer for the affected farmers. The need to replace dead livestock, erect new fences, remove silt and stones from fields, and then plow and reseed means that the bill from the recent floods runs into tens of thousands for many farmers in the northwest. There is a consensus among those affected in Northern Ireland that more help is needed from the department other than issuing advanced basic payments and allowing flooded land to be claimed this year after completing a force majeure form. However, a dear spokesperson told the Farmers Journal this week that the department has restricted options for a potential aid package due to the political impasse at Stormont. Meanwhile, it has been announced that farmers suffered losses as a result of the severe flooding in Donegal can apply for financial support from the Department of Agriculture in Dublin. We visited the farm of Patrick Kirk near Plum Bridge in County Tyrone two weeks after the floods. He had at least half an acre of land disappear as the force of the water moved the river that runs through his farm 15 yards from its original path. The river bed is now three times wider and five foot higher than it was before. Work is now needed to stop water coming back onto fields and more land from being eroded this winter. Patrick only recently bought the farm and new fences that were put up three weeks ago are gone. Around five acres that was ploughed and reseeded is now covered in stones, bushes and sand. The Northern Ireland Environment Agency said this week that silt and stones deposited on land during floods can be moved within a farm without the need for authorization. However, if material leaves the farm that it was deposited on, it becomes classified as waste and the Environment Agency should be contacted as a license may be needed.